Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the impeller off of a Gould's shallow well pump. This is a one horsepower pump. Uh, it's the same procedure if you have a half horsepower or a three quarter horsepower pump. Uh, let me show you how you do it. It's pretty simple. First thing you have to do is take the case front casing off. If you don't know how to do that, watch my other video, how to take the front casing apart. Um, once you do that, you're left with this. You have the uh, motor, motor adapter, and right here we have the guide vane, and right behind the guide vane is the impeller. Uh, to take the guide vane off, this, this pump is from 1996. It's 24 years old. This has an older style guide vane. There's no bolts holding it in. It's just snapped in. So to remove it, you would put a screwdriver behind it, just pry it up a little bit. All you have to do is free it, and then if you free it, it should just snap out and that's it it just snaps in it's just held in in place um, you know just pressure uh, newer guide vane has bolts in it if you have a newer pump most likely the guide vane is going to have three bolts holding it in this is an older pump if you break this type of guide vane that snaps in, most likely you're going to need a newer guide vane. I don't believe they make these anymore, the snap-in type. If you have to replace this with the newer style, you're going to need a new motor adapter because the bolt uh, threads aren't drilled out in this old style adapter. So you'd have to buy a new motor adapter. Anyways, take the impeller off you're left with the guide vane. To take this guide, this guide vane is just free spinning, but to take it off, you have to stop the motor from spinning. And to do that, you're gonna take the back of the motor cover off, quarter inch socket. There's two bolts. Just loosen them up. Once you loosen them up, I'm just gonna take the cover off. The bolts don't come out, they stay in the cover. You just loosen them and it'll pry off. So there's the cover, two bolts, it just slips off. Might be stuck on there, just pry it off, pull it off. And the next thing you need to do is you have to remove the capacitor to get a wrench in the slot of the shaft. One screw, quarter inch screw, take this clamp off. Now you want to discharge the capacitor in case it has a charge in it. To do that, just touch the two terminals with a screwdriver, if there's any charge in it, it'll discharge it. You'll see a spark, it'll spark. So this, this one's good, discharged. Remember to do that, you can get electrocuted. Next thing you need, 7 16 box wrench. You're gonna stick that underneath I believe this is called the governor. Underneath that, you're going to put this 7 16 wrench. In the slot of the shaft. And then once it's locked in, it won't turn. You're, you hold that. And then you're going to take the impeller and you're going to turn it that way, counterclockwise. If it keeps, if it, if it doesn't loosen up, sometimes you could put a uh, pliers on there, but you don't want to crack this because if it's brittle, it's going to crack. Sometimes I use this strap wrench, put it over that, hold the wrench, just 
push that down. Remember to turn it counterclockwise, hold the wrench. And that's it. The impeller will screw off. Nothing else holding it on. But to do that, you have to hold the shaft of the motor from spinning, and that's what the wrench is for. So pull the wrench out, and you're good to go. Now the only thing you're left with is the shaft seal. That's in two parts. If you watch my other video, I have a video how to remove the shaft seal. Uh, that's pretty simple. But that's, um, that's it on the impeller. Pretty easy. And like you saw me take it off, I took it off without damaging it. It looks ugly, but it's just surface rust stains on it. Other than that, that's how you take an impeller off of a Gould shallow well pump.